Hello everybody, let's make a Firestore schema settings so we can insert products in our Fire Admin. So here we have uh, um, our Firestore database when we have, where we have orders. This is the restaurant menu, the restaurant items. And these are the collections that we have. So this is just for an example. And this is our admin panel. So this is connected directly to Firestore and this is our products. And what I want to do is when I click on the plus sign to be able to insert, to insert new product like this one. Okay, so let's do that. The schema for Firestore is defined in firestoreschema.gs and you will receive something, a file like this one. So we will start by the defining what collections we will have uh, and from this we will need the restaurant collection and inside the restaurant collection we do have options collection and variance collections that are inside the documents of the restaurant and we have another collection that's the restaurant collection that has the, some, like the categories of the of the restaurant so these are the categories and these are the menu items and we will add all the the settings so the schema is correct so let's start so first i will need the restaurant collection and i will just copy the name from here so in fact I should copy this template folder and as a element name I should give restaurant then I had a restaurant collection then I had inside the restaurant in some items I do have options and variants So this is the first step and I should define that the restaurant collection inside has options and variants. So what I will do is inside the restaurant in collections I will add options and variants. So what this means is that when I insert a restaurant this by default will insert the, uh, the options and the variants collection. Okay, so that's done. Restaurant collection doesn't have any collection inside. Options is also empty and variants doesn't have any other collection, sub-collections. That's great. So the next step will be to define the fields inside a restaurant element. So what I will see here is that we have calories. So I will add in fields calories and the default value which will be for example 50 then I have description image price title so I have title my new product description great product so this is when will be inserted for each new element. I also had image and I will copy the image from here. Okay, so this will be like the default image. We had price which is the default price of $50 and we have collection which is a reference and because we don't know upfront what we can have in restaurant collections, 
we will define the collection as a simple string and when you insert the default by default you will be able to select the collection right away what you can do is for collection you can use something like this like I did for geopoint and you can directly reference to some collection if you want that to be by default but for now let's just say like this or any other string will work okay that's for the restaurant now let's go to restaurant collection which in fact is our categories and let's see what the elements have there they have description image and title so I will copy one image this will be my default one so image then I have a description great collection great category and I have a title which is my new category that's great and now for the options let's see what what is there in the restaurant and in some fields options and we have variants so we'll define each document so we have name we have name and the name will be my option and values will be some values for example this will be an array so for example big small big medium and small we can hit we can say uh, portion size but this could be anything and this is for the option and now for the variants let's see what we have there for the variants we have option one option two option three price and title okay so title my variant then for option one we have big option 2 we have empty string option 3 we have also empty string this is just to let you know how you can set up the the schema for firestore don't look at the logic price 10 okay so we are done the restaurant contains its fields and when we insert a restaurant element it will be inserted also will insert the options and variants and we see what is there in option and variants and restaurant collection have just the, these fields okay we will save it this will automatically refresh okay let's refresh it okay and when we insert a new element here my new product so here is my new product as I said you see collection is by default the first one selected because we have an empty string so we have dessert calories 60 the description is great product the image is there the price is there and on top of it we have the options and variants so that's great we can change it and you can have as much as you want sub you can put collections also here and also for the categories if I click on plus a new category will be inserted yeah here it is great category my new category and it has description image and title so yeah that that is relatively really easy how you can set up your collections in firestore schema so it's in few steps first you need to define which uh, collections you will have you can copy the template folder 
in each element you will have fields and collections these are the sub collections of that element like the restaurant that has options and variants and I think later on it's easy to define which fields you have for, for references you can use just empty string for location for uh, location points you can use new firebase firestore geopoint you can use number for example true also false things like that and yeah I think we are done with this thanks for watching